So this year, I'll be taking my game to the My Career Online Game Mode streets, and with the help of some guys, particularly All City Big Heck and Simnation's own books, they helped me out and came through for me. I made a build that fits my playstyle perfectly. I wanted to be an elite shot creator at all three levels, be able to create crazy dribble combos, and get all the types of jump shots and advanced shot creation techniques that I want at the point guard level. So the build is a 6'3 point guard, 175 pounds with a 6'6 wingspan. Now I'm not the best at the builder. I just wanted to make sure that I was able to get all the badges and attributes that I want. And the first cornerstone of this build is being able to shoot at a high clip. So I put my three point shot at a 94 rating. My mid range is at 81, which in my opinion is more than fine for how I play. I like to get open shots in the mid range anyway, but that 94 three point rating is important for one thing. It's to get that hall of fame space creator. And then the other shooting stats I have give me gold agent threes, gold blinders, and gold dead eye because we love to hit those advanced shot techniques. So take a look at this clip right here. These shots are focused on creating space, putting pressure on my defender, and hitting them with a step back jumper. So this is the cornerstone of this build. I want to be able to put pressure at all three levels and have the ability to break out into step backs with confidence when I get them where I want. So I want the flexibility to be able to attack my defenders, whether it's using screens, stopping and popping off of dribble moves, hitting them with different triple threat moves and comboing off of dribble iso motions. These are the core aspects of what I want my build to be. And if you watched my gameplay over the past few years, this is probably my dominant playstyle when I'm using a playmaking or shot creating guard. And just as a tip, and if you're like me and you're conservative with how you want to make your builds, I put my build first through my career, make sure I have all the templates and badges that I want, and then transfer them over to my NBA, put them in my NBA game mode on Hall of Fame difficulty to test out the playstyle that I want and to see which badges activate the most for me, so I make sure that I take my time to optimize my build. So now I'm at the point where I'm happy, look, I'm creating all the types of shots that I want, even hitting tough shots in the mid range with that 81 midi rating and with these shooting aspects now i'm comfortable with how i want to attack my defenders outside the paint now the next core of this build is going to be my elite playmaking because i want to be able to break my defenders down and burst out of it so the core of that is that 95 ball handle and that 91 speed with ball but the second important aspect of that is my 92 speed and this allows me to get hall of fame speed booster which is going to be a crucial part of this game and that acceleration at 85 is also going to be important but first gold blow by you need it if you're a small guard and i'll show you why later on but i also wanted to get killer combos hall of fame speed booster and gold unpluckable ankle breaker i'm not sure really where i'm going to settle with that but that 85 acceleration is also going to be important to get that hall of fame triple strike badge which i'll show you the purpose of this later on and really why you want to get those playmaking attributes is because the combination of hall of fame speed booster with gold blow by is crazy and the way i created this build is going to be important to be able to blow by your defender off the bounce so that you put as much pressure on the defense as possible and as you can see i'm able to get to the basket at will and once you have your defenders trying to guard you from getting to the paint that's where hall of fame space creator comes in handy so i'm still trying to figure out what my optimal badge loadout is going to be but hall of fame speed booster and gold blow by are going to be the keys for that i'm also enjoying using killer combos because how because of how it flows really well with my playstyle and putting a lot of dribble moves together but as you can see that hall of fame speed booster and gold blow by has been activating consistently now the the important part here is i got a 91 driving layup rating gonna give me all the finishing badges i need at hall of fame particularly that hall of fame float game is going to be important but i also wanted to get gold slithery that's going to be an important part of my build because i've got a low strength build that relies heavily on speed and slithery really is one of those badges that you might not notice it when you have it but if you don't have it you're gonna notice it more and more take a look at this activation right here i was able to slide past sga avoiding his contact and that's the power of slithery now the power of blow by is that if you're 
initiating a contact out of your burst as you can see right there deandre hunter gave him a little bit of a hand check contact gold blow by is going to give you that power of the that clamp breaking animation which was so prevalent in nba 2k23 as you can see here even against stronger defenders like deandre hunter i was able to break past his contact using that gold blow by and from these clips right here you can see me putting everything together putting that forward pressure at my defender stepping back canceling out of it into a dribble move and the most important finishing badge for me is going to be hall of fame float game other than gold slithery which i needed to get to 91 driving layup that hall of fame float game is going to be important now let's talk about the drawbacks this build isn't going to be a good defender i got my perimeter defense at 65 i can get bumpy enough with it because of my speed attributes i'm able to keep up with my defenders i can even get some contests because of my vertical rating but let's not kid ourselves man uh, this build was made for offense and offense only I, I don't recommend it if you're if you want to be an all-around build in a competitive setting this is purely going to be a 5 on 5 build my pack's accuracy is at 75 enough to give me silver dimer and silver special delivery which are going to be important when we're driving to the basket but forget about your bailouts i'm gonna be ha i'm gonna have to be disciplined in in how i initiate passes of the help as you can see i can still i'm still able to pass out of layups uh, but the success rate is going to be low uh more often than not you're going to get these fumbles which will lead to turnover so here i am testing out how how much i can get away with with a 75 pass accuracy and it, uh, let me tell you it's not much so when you have that build it's going to be shades of darius garland trey young and steve nash uh the, the darius garland and trey young i can definitely see you're going to be a face a floor spacing slasher uh which is fine with me we're going to attack primarily off the three-point line attack off the bounce and get to the basket now in terms of signature uh moves i'm still settling on who i want but for my regular breakdown i have darius garland aggressive breakdown and most of my my dribble moves are steph escape dribbles are De'Aaron fox step back jumper package is steph curry and if you're not using steph curry if you're six four and below you're, you're doing it wrong the iron fox is a good alternative but steph curry step back jumpers is important now for my signature size ups i got the rose basically th that's that's I, I love the way he can change his pace and attack violently off the dribble so there you go i'm headed to the my career streets in nba 2k24 this is going to be my first build I, I initially thought that i would like a paul george build to start off my nba 2k24 my career journey but and in this upcoming tutorial i'm going to show you why this 6-4 build is going to be so dominant i can't wait to put it to the test online that's coming in a week or two i just need time to build this uh this my player up so let me know what you think of my build. I know I gave up a few things specifically on defense, but I think this is going to be a fun build to fit my playstyle specifically. And I'll see you in the next one.